So we're standing here in our field of champion. As you can see, it's starting to sit up and look interested. We're three to five days away from our T0 and we're here to assess the disease and what we might or may not apply. So this crop was drilled uh, mid-October. Um, you can see it's come on very well. It's a nice even stand. As a variety, it has a good resistance rating for septoria and also for yellow rust. So that's 7.6 for septoria and an eight for yellow rust. It is prone to a bit of mildew and there's been some of that locally, though I haven't found any in this crop as yet. To date, like most of the country, it's been very dry for a good month or more. Uh, until that was last weekend. So we had about 20 mil on Saturday. There is septoria on the older senescing leaves, so that will have moved those spores up onto the new growth. It'll also mean that the plant takes up the nitrogen which had been applied, and we're going to see it move away now as it's that bit warmer today as well. Despite its disease rating, I would expect that septoria to develop in the bottom and further up the plant. I am going to go for a full fungicide program on this. We'll look at T1, assuming the fungicide does its job for T0, probably look at an SDHI trials all there so that we save our Univoc uh, for T2, where it will deliver good control on both septoria and on rust and will benefit from its persistence all the way through to harvest.